Welcome back everyone, and uh, everyone, I welcome everybody back to the Endless Horizons channel. Today I wanted to uh, give you an update on my archery range. Some new targets have been uh, placed out in it. Wanted to go over with uh, the nuances there, what's going on with those, and uh, also to update you on my crossbow situation. Uh, sport in the shades today, it's kind of bright outside, so bear with me. Uh, if you guys remember from my previous video, I showed you my bags that range from 20 all the way out to uh, 60 yards. So today, again, I'm just going to give you an update. Got some new bags, new 3D targets out here. Wanted to uh, give you a walk through and uh, update you on some of this stuff. So if you guys remember from my last video, still sporting the BC 300 tight bag. Been using that at 20 yards now um, since I rearranged the range. Um, very solid bag. I've been, it's been out here since, oh, it's been out here 20, 24 7 for probably, wow, six years, four, three years, four, three, four years, probably. Yeah, I'd have to guess. So here's uh, about three new bags. They came today. Um, I went with these uh, Morel yellow jackets. I know it's a field tip only. That works just fine for me. Crossbow approved. Uh, YJ425. Uh, so it's rated as a speed bag. Um, uh, the new crossbow I got rated, I think, at 380, and it was blowing through some of my targets. So um, that's why I made this upgrade. Got a really good deal on eBay. And I think those bags were 30, I don't know, 35, 36 dollars a piece with free shipping. Crazy. I don't know how they do that. But uh, so anyhow, if you guys remember, um, still got my uh, target here, my 3D target. Uh, don't know who, but somebody's still stealing my antlers. If you guys remember my last video, um, that person was described there, but oh well. Then we go out here, that's, I think that, I think that 3D target's at 35 yards, something a little different. Here we go out to 40 yards. <clears throat> Again, here's the second of the new, uh, yellow jacket, um, bags. Haven't shot that, haven't shot this yet. Got good reviews, shouldn't be a problem. And then uh, here's the new addition. It's one of the reasons I wanted to uh, update you. It's very, very exciting. The, the other day, my wife and I, we were sitting around getting ready to watch the news or what have you, have some dinner. And one of the box trucks pulls up into the front of the EH compound. I asked my wife, I go, did you order something? She's like, no, you, no, well, neither one of us ordered anything. My guy comes out, comes to the front porch, big ass box. Hell, I thought it was a TV or something. I'm like, yeah, it must be a wrong address. I better bring the package in, read the packaging label, and uh, you know, return it to one of my neighbors or something. And I, I look down at the the address, and it has my name. And I'm like, what? What the hell? That isn't my name. I look down, I read the label again, and it says Chevy. Chevy's R with a Chevy's. R with a capital R, slow. Chevy's are slow. All one word with my last name, Twinem, T W I N E M. Chevy's are slow, being my first name. Chevy's are slow, Twinem. So you ask yourself, the hell's the hell, you know, what's that mean? Well, long story short, I don't want to get on a rant here. This is an outdoor channel, not a muscle car uh, engine classic car show video thing. But anyhow, my uh, I have a buddy who I've known since. Oh, probably the mid 90s late not mid mid late 90s he lives out in maryland um, he's a car enthusiast like myself i too have a uh, antique uh, chevy with a big block in it and um, he has a 82 mustang gt with a small block in it and uh, we like to tease each other so we we rag each other all the time he's also a fellow subscriber of the endless horizon cha endless horizons channel so i thank him very much for that 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 means a lot so, going back to my story, I, I'm like, Chevys are slow. I'm like, who the hell? And then my wife goes, oh, that's our buddy. I get a knife. I open the box. I look in there, and there's a, a, a shooter hog, 3D target. I'm like, how nice. So, my fellow subscriber, who I've known a long time, uh, was kind enough to send me a belated birthday present. And um, he saw the last video, and he thought my range was looking a little shabby so he wanted to uh, help out the channel and I thank him very much for for that so <clears throat> along with the uh, along with the the, the present 
it was there was a note attached to it. I'll let you see it. It says here, a gift for you. Happy birthday. I expect a shout out in the next video. Something like, that hog out there was a gift from my buddy in Maryland that drives a bad ass 82 Mustang. The baddest 82 Mustang I've ever seen. Enjoy from Scott McCullough. Well, Scott, <laughs> you got me. That was pretty funny when I read uh, Chevy's R Slow with my last name. But uh, all jokes aside, I uh, wanted to give you a shout out. Thanks for being my friend, first of all. Thanks for all the good times we had. Hopefully we can have some more. And uh, again, thank you so much for the, the very nice gift for the uh, uh, EH channel. So let me show you what he sent me. You go over here. Again, a little 40-yard bag. Right here. A little, nice little hog. It's a little shooter hog. I think I got him ranged at... Uh, I think he's... I just put him out this morning before I shot this video. I think he's sitting at... Um, 45 yards that'll be a challenging shot from the deck there oh look at that we got a we got an intruder that's Casper my little cat she's looking at the she's looking at the hog she's like oh is that a predator what is that yeah so, so anyhow um, <clears throat> so I wanted to give Scott my friend Scott a shot out to that and also too um, all jokes aside he does have a beautiful 1982 Mustang GT so if you're out at uh, in the Maryland area at uh, Cecil County Drag Raceway where he hangs. If you see a electric blue 82 GT sporting a um, booster seat in the front of it, that's my boy Scott. So we go out here. And another updated bag. This is the third and final one. Again, same bag. No holes in her yet. Um, should be a good bag. Anxious to give him a shot. I won't be. I'm going to try and take care of these bags a little bit more in the, the new hog. The new hog that uh, was delivered. Um, again, this bag. Hell, this this bag's from I think 17, 16. It's been outside ever since. Good bag. And that's a 60-yard bag. I do. Again, if you remember the old videos, I do shoot that far just out of practice. Just out of practice. So <clears throat> that's pretty much that. Again, I wanted to. All jokes aside. Uh, thank you very much, Scott. That was a very nice gift, and it'll be much appreciated and much used. So, I'm going to walk back into the archery shop, take you with me, and uh, go over that uh, crossbow situation. Um, I was out in the sacred grounds the other day, put out three cameras, one of which is a cell camera, and put out my uh, ground blind, Checked on my rut stand, nice crick bottom location where I'm going to use a climber. Uh, everything looks good. We look, we look like we look, we're ready for the rut. We're looking ready, really good. I'm going to use the uh, ground blind. Excuse me, I'm going to use the ground blind. Early season, it's in a pine thicket, and it's kind of a travel corridor. Corridor, right when a deer come out in the evening, to some uh, soybean fields. So that should work out pretty good. All right, let me take you into the archery shop go over the crossbow situation as you guys know from my other videos I do or I have always used Excalibur crossbows been using them oh geez 15 years I don't know something like 12 13 years and if you remember my if you remember my last video I had some issues limb failures no uh, Excalibur sent me new limbs I was having issues with the uh, the rail, the shooting rail, the barrel, whatever they want to call them, separating its aluminum. It was separating from the stock. Uh, if you remember my video, I got all that machined out, got it corrected. So it was as good as good, good as new, probably even better. And I ended up selling that on the interweb and upgrading. And here's what I went with. Went with the old tur uh, 10 point turbo M1. As you guys know, I like to support the locals. I live in Ohio. Ten Point manufactures all their bows in Ohio. So that was a plus for me. They also have a good lifetime warranty as well. This is my first uh, wheelie bow. That's what I like to call them with the cams. Um, in the future, I like to maintain all my stuff on my own, by myself. So I might have to invest in a real small press or something so I can 
tweak these little stringy doodles. So, uh, so far, I really enjoy it. It's much uh, more narrow. Uh, I think when these, when this is drawn back, they say it's not, I think it's nine inches, so it's very narrow. You can see my hand while it's uncocked. Um, has an illuminated scope, which is very nice. Uh, has red or green illumination. It has uh, rec uh, dots all the way out to 60 yards. I just got the Accu draw, draw sled. Basically, this comes out, attaches to the forward string, and comes back and locks. I think these are 190 pound limbs. Um, the sled takes about 50% of that draw weight out, so it isn't bad. Nothing like my old X caliber. One thing about this bow is really nice that it's super compact. These cams are reversed. I am, I'm not sure what the technical term, what uh, 10 point likes to call them. They're reverse cams, I believe. If you notice, this cam, the string, is in a forward position all the way down to this cam. Most of them are normally like this, where this string is in the back. So whatever, you know, measure that out, four, four inches or four and a half, whatever that is. So by reversing these cams, you get a little, a little extra uh, draw, draw length, if you will. Um, putting this string forward to the riser, which uh, I don't know the math, but uh, with a small package gives this uh, string a lot more draw to go way back into this locking mechanism. And you pick up a few feet per second. So, um, and it's so far it's shooting, it's shooting bullet holes. I mean, I, I, I can't, so far I'm so, so impressed. We'll see how longevity is and how, um, how it, uh, holds up. That's the most important thing for me. So, um, that's about all I have today. Um, again, you get a look out at, out at the range there. That's, like I say, that's about all I have today. I want to thank all the new subscribers to Endless Horizons. Um, I, without you, there is no us. I don't do this for myself. I do it for you guys. I'm just trying to share some knowledge and get get you guys out in the woods. Get you filling the freezer, enjoying your freedom. Um, there's not many countries left in the, in this world where we have this this amount of land that's free that you can go out and exercise these type of rights. So get out in the woods, whether you're hunting, walking taking videos, fishing, whatever, riding a bicycle through, just get out and enjoy nature. It'll do you some good, get you off all these little devices and doodads. So again, uh, thank you to uh, my subscriber and my dear friend, Scott McCullough. Really appreciate that, all jokes aside, all jokes aside. And um, so we're gonna leave you with that. Um, get a look at the range here and we're gonna sign off. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day and um, Look forward to the, we're going to be out in the, in the woods here in a little over a month uh, with, I think, archery season opens Ohio the 24th of September. So stay with me. We'll get some action shots in the woods coming up next. So as always, from the bottom of my heart, from the Endless, Endless Horizons channel to you guys, thank you so very much and peace and love.